Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi, everybody. Look who I'm standing beside. Susan okay. Ranyon is here. <laughs> I love you. Okay, great questions from people. Yes. Are you ready? Yep. I told him this is going to be the best interview he's ever had in okay. his whole life. Perfect. And I don't going to sing. How many times have you been interviewed, do you think? Uh, today you're the first. <laughs> About 800 million, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. You ready, Chef? Okay, yes. All right. What is your favorite junk food to eat? My chocolate. It's not junk food. I love dark chocolate or macaroons. Yeah, like like Hershey's chocolate or no, just like... No, it's <laughs> only the best. I love really good Valrhona chocolate okay. or Kaibo. It has to be the best quality. That way I don't eat too much. Though. I still tend to overdo it. I have chocolates in my freezer. I have chocolates hiding in my car. Do you really? Oh, yeah. I have chocolates in my bedroom. I mean, it's like... <laughs> chocolates in your bedroom? I, well, in I the middle hire. of the night, you, you get up and go, I just want some chocolate. I know. If I can have sex, I have chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On that note, next question. Okay. Okay, here we go. Of all the restaurants you worked at, like when you were younger, yeah. not owned, but worked at, which was your favorite and why? You know, the most amazing restaurant, two of them really, one was Beaumanier in south of France, and there I really learned how to be an individual cook, not to cook from recipes. The owner there was really my mentor, Raymond Gillier. Without him, I probably would be a truck driver today. And then Maxime's in Paris was a fantastic restaurant too, because we had everybody from the Kennedys. I remember seeing John Kennedy there and uh, seeing all these people there. Was not John Edward Kennedy and uh, Charlie Chaplin and the uh, Duke and Duchess of Windsor and you know, all the famous actors, Yul Brynner and uh, David Neven. So it was very exciting too. But I think these are the two main places. And how old were you when you were at? At Maxim's, yeah, I was 23 and Beaumont 19. Oh my gosh, that yeah. was a way long time ago. Way long time before well, you no, were no. born. He's only, he's only like yeah. 45 now, yeah. of course. All right, next question up. What, okay, this is a good one. What's the one meal you make that's your go-to that you know you can make it fast and everybody absolutely loves? Well, you know, in my home, it's different. You know, I tell my wife, make a pasta bolognese. My wife is the best uh, bolognese maker in right? our family. And wow. my kids said, when I make it, they say, Papa, it's almost as good as Mom. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's the go-to. So I make the salad. I say, Galila, you make the pasta. <laughs> That's and awesome. I'm going to show it to you tonight. Okay, good. Okay, that's awesome. Here's another one. Oh, what's your most embarrassing moment in a kitchen? Oh, I remember one time at home, quite a few years ago, at Thanksgiving. So I have the turkey in my oven, and it wasn't brown enough. So what did I do? I said, okay, I have this pomegranate glaze. Oh, what kind of glaze? Pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate. The juice okay. of pomegranate, I reduced it, so it got sticky a little bit, like thick like oil. I brushed the whole turkey. And I don't know, I left it at 450 or 500, and all of a sudden, I was doing something, uh, I think at the bar, getting a drink, and, yeah. and then I said, who is burning something here? I thought it was my mother-in-law was cooking. Uh, she was in the kitchen, too. I said, oh, she's burning. I didn't even go to look. By the time I went in there, I opened the door, a black smoke comes out, and then the turkey was totally black. No. Now, naturally, I was scared somebody going to take a picture and send it to somebody, you know. And so I took a towel and ripped off the skin and then uh, didn't show anybody. And then I cut the turkey, sliced it. And I remember I had a very good friend, a doctor friend. He said, wow, that's such a good idea. The turkey smoked the turkey a little bit. Stop it's it. a delicious smoky flavor. <laughs> I, said, yeah. I told him I did it on purpose. <laughs> and so to this day, he does not know. He does not know. You, you know. actually had flambe turkey. I had uh, a burnt turkey. And I remember <laughs> one time, a long time ago, so... I cook at Johnny Carson's house. You remember oh, him? Sure, you, of are, Absolutely. you were born then. The Tonight Show, of course. Yeah, The Tonight Show. So Johnny Carson at his home in Malibu, had a big party, and he was standing in front of me like he had an open kitchen like we have here. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him and Lucille Ball and uh, a few oh, other people. Oh, man. And all of a sudden, I was cooking ribs in there. We had little appetizers. And... Uh, I opened the oven behind me, and again, the ribs, ribs were dark and the smoke coming out. And Johnny Carson said, oh, you do magic also. <laughs> <laughs> As you burned his home down. I, I know. Okay, here is, those are good. Um, okay, this is the last question. What do you want people to remember most about you? 
I think I would like to remember, if I get a tombstone, I don't know if I'm good enough for that, but if it says on a tombstone I was a good father, that would be the main thing. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We love you. All right, bye. Or maybe I should say I was at HSN for 20 years. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and counting, by the and way. And counting. All right, I got to turn this off. Thanks, Chef. It ain't over. Okay, bye. It's over now.